oxygen on included. Let's resume the game. Um, we did some stuff last time here on the highest difficulty on Bader without any cat packages. And that was pretty good. So there's nothing to do right now. Just uh, wait until everything is finished. So I could speed up the game, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go over every machine and uh, see if there's some uh, some maintenance maybe needed. Or some changes that make the machine better. I'm going to find out about that. And uh, maybe move the rocket platform a little bit down. I'm not sure. That will save us some steam. Um, it's all not very uh, important for the achievement run. But uh, gonna still have a look at it. So everything is going smoothly here. Um, this is the colony. Uh, let's run it. Alright. Building broken? Wait, what? Entombment? What? Nah. Everything is going well here. We got a new mutant plant. Excited about that stuff. Um, picking up the blossom seeds. So what we need is another one of those. Super specialized. And another one, and another one. And uh, then we can increase the yield of this farm. Irrigation here is missing. So should we move down the rocket platform? I'm not sure how this is going to look. But probably some collector here. I'm going straight down like that. Yeah, let's deconstruct those. Uh, and those ladders there. Put a rocket platform down here somewhere. Not sure. Um, let's look at the radiation as well. So what we're going to need is a uh, red bolt generator. And uh, the closest I can build this up is here. Good. And maybe I could have even more radiation there if I were to deconstruct that tile um, of course then the erect satellite is uh, wait I think I'm going to deconstruct this tile and have this thing horizontal that's a better idea good somebody is coming up and doing it meanwhile on the other planetoid rocket platform is uh Rocket shaft is being built. So how much is this? How much radiation? Um, significant health has it. Almost two thousand rats. That's fine. Good. So this thing then needs power, and um, can then shoot somewhere to recharge the rocket engine so let's go to research because uh definitely need some research for that red bolt propulsion yes is what we're going for good so let's look at our shaft here is being built up i wonder if i should have the entrance here somewhere as well maybe with the liquid lock um but it's all right so going up here, there's no chance to breathe, but uh, all right. Putting up this first power. I'm not sure we actually need power, but uh, well, we definitely need power. I'm not sure if we have power. So when the rocket lands, our battery is going to be full um, because we're having the uh, solar panel there. Oh, no, this is interesting. All the plants are growing. Let's look at the room. Um, I don't know why it doesn't want to be the uh, the nature thingy there. I don't know. So are we running out of oxygen? I don't think we'll ever run out of oxygen. We can deconstruct the pump. Temporarily. Um, let's do this. Next chance we get. Now. And um, then we're going to look at the room types. I mean, it's not that important. This duplicant here is doing a great job. They're very good. So now we have barracks here. Fantastic. 
Hmm. But why is it not a private bedroom? Uh, decor is what is missing. Not sure I can build some decor from the things that I have. Um, flower pot, another air pot maybe. We do have some glass, but there's no room. What is there? Let's get another air pot in. A air pot. Um, because why not? So now we don't have the pump, but we might not need it. These oxygens, uh, oxygen ferns are doing a great job. I don't think we need the pump. Mm, this gas pump is pumping intermittently. If the pressure goes below. So yeah, this is looking great. How's my shaft? Mm, still building up things. We could land now to see if it even works. Shaft is not ready. A janitor is radiated like no tomorrow. Um, but that's all right. Good. So we're going to deconstruct the rocket platform. We're going to build an engine. Oh, we cannot. We just sent over the research thingies. So we're going to do, and the engine is then going to be here. Um, but I don't know how this how this adds up with the, with the height and everything. Um, we could deconstruct this ladder just in case. Good. What else do we need here? Um, nothing's growing here. We don't have the seed. Uh, because we were using the seed for food first. That's, of course, embarrassing. Let's have those things. Priority 7, maybe then we're not going to use up the seed for food. Um, irrigation is halted here. Um, but water will be coming. Good, let's put more water in from here as well, because why not? We can. And the other water will have priority here. Good. Uh, let's look at some more machines. Producing steel. Everything here is fine. This is going great. Uh, so what we need here, of course, is a Curtis sensor. And then we're going to connect that up to the door. Curtis sensor. Um, it's then going to make sure uh, that the um, incubator is not provided with an egg when it's not needed. Uh, hmm. Still gold sensor there. Good. Meanwhile, how many critters are in there? Two of six. Right. Um, automation connected up. Wonderful. Good. And then we're going to select the uh, molten egg that we have there. Incubate. And a high priority, maybe. It doesn't matter. It's seven. Good. So if there's enough critters in there, this thing is not going to work. That means we should have the critters sensor up to uh, six critters. And um, when it's six critters, or when it's above five critters, then all the eggs are going to get shipped out. But if one of the critters dies, Hmm. Is this the right number? Maybe we should do the seven. If it's above six critters, this needs to be open. No. If it's above five critters. Let's go. Above five critters. Doors open. Means doors closed now and um, this egg is incubating. Uh, we're not going to provide this with power ever um, and we're not going to ship out all the eggs until the farm is a little bit full good now of course the problem is that the critter is gonna flee um, but that's not gonna happen and because this thing has a priority of nine here the uh, auto wrangler 
it's a critter drop off but uh, should be an auto wrangler and it's gonna wrangle the larvae as soon as possible and then the larvae is gonna come from here to there very nice eggs and such all right let's get this all right and we might need a project here what could be a good project hmm i don't like that we're not producing a lot of plastic now um, but that cannot really be helped there's going to be a pump here and um, this water will slosh wait mm, i think i can put a pump in here let's have some help us and uh, delete the polluted oxygen there fantastic priority seven priority nine on the last one good and um, maybe we should try and get our counter flow going to get more petroleum um this opened up why i'm not sure why there's oxygen in here but since there's oxygen in there uh, we could get rid of the oxalite. Hmm. This definitely needs to be a vacuum. That much is clear. Got more scalding going on. Picking up hot granite from here. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure. Um, so the oxalite is in the way. How are we going to solve that? Um... Can we dump it somewhere? Uh, if we climb down here with an escalator, we could take the oxalite and dump it down here somewhere. Mm. Gonna release even more atmosphere. I don't like that much. But this is definitely in the way and it's gonna gas off. Mm. If I carry it, might gas off as well. This is going to gas off here in the helium. 8.5 key. I don't think so. Um, let's grab sweep only oxalite. Dig it out. And then have a uh, seed area. I think that's a good plan. Um, put it anywhere. It's gonna be, I don't know, I don't wanna put it right next to the liquid lock there. It's probably not a good call. Good, we're gonna have it sweep only oxalite. More scalding. Sweep only oxalite. Organic. It's not organic, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Breathable gas, consumable. It is a consumable ore. Sweep only, good. Let's dig it all out. We want this quick. Um, do a dig action there. Cancel that. Deconstruct this building and dig out that stuff. Good. I don't know where the scalding's coming from. Again, I have no clue. No clue. Um, is everything working with volcano? It's too hot here, but we're sucking out the heat, so it should be good. What about the temperature? Seventy degrees. Everything is fine. Um. Once in a while, <laughs> things are getting delivered out. Probably they just taken up the igneous rock or something. I don't know. Um, we have to deconstruct the rocker platform, definitely. Mm. I kind of want to land, uh, but I can't reach this insulated gas pipe. Can I land when there's a ladder here? Not sure. Not sure. So, as soon as I land, I'm gonna refuel. Oh, let's see if that works even. If it doesn't work, we have to go back and abort the mission. 
I'm probably going to use up fuel if we start on land. It's one tile. That's a good space. It's one tile here. Oh, we're over there. Good. In orbit. What do we have? Do we have a scanner module? No. <laughs> we can deploy now here and help out already. But uh, it's not a good idea, or is it? Hmm. It's not a good idea. Just gonna build up this uh, insulated pipe. And then land. And then we have a refueled rocket, hopefully. Um, meanwhile, this is going on. I think I'm just gonna work on my vanity project now. Just everything I'm doing now is just for fun. I don't have any pressing matters. Everything is going the way it's supposed to go. We're just collecting resources now. So let's just relax and uh, build up a cool machine. Right. Here's another one. Can dig out another oxalate thingy. This is not a pre uh, not emitting now because it's overpressured from the crude oil. Hmm. So maybe I should just collect it here in a puddle of crude oil. Yeah, I think that's even better. Good. Let's get a temporary. <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> I don't think of it as good at all, to be honest. Um, because it's going to be a sensitive area here. Hmm. Can be a very sensitive area, and I want to go down further even. Yeah, it's not a good idea. I'm gonna stick with my my plan before, and put it in a different environment. Mm, here, eight point five helium. Ceramic? Why ceramic? Let's try sandstone. That's why they were. Uh, probably scalding. They took the hot ceramic from somewhere. Um, from inside here, probably. Good. Another three. Another three carry on the conveyor rail. And it's going to carry the igneous rock. Very good. And the temperature is still low. Fantastic. Still low. Everything going right. Thing was erupting. We are at 280 we are at 180 degrees and 280 key of steam um, this is fantastic here as well a lot of kilos of steam i don't know why the vent is not over pressurized but uh, <laughs> let's not worry it only over pressurized at 1000 key ah that's why very good and um, running the igneous rock out, and uh, they disregarded the priorities again. It's not cool. It's not cool. This priority 9 wasn't done before the priority 7. Terrible. Um, but we can land now anytime. Except I kind of want to finish this. Um, can we have another ladder? To have an easier time, maybe? Um, let's do every other. Good. And here. And there. And there. Here as well. And up here. Just so we're able to reach everything. Uh, should I do... I should do the symmetry there. But now there's the comfortable ladder. So let's leave it. Right, this is going fast. Um, lit workspace, that's good, that's why. Um, I kind of would love to close it up more. Um, but let's not worry about it. Good, as soon as the rocket lands, some duplicate will come and grab the data banks, put them here. But only if I tell them to sweep them up? No. No, 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 they're doing everything. They're doing all the data bank and all the lumber. 
because those don't have room here in this colony. So they're going to do it re relatively quick. And then we have uh, we have the research continuing on the other planet. Um, let's get the mirth in here and the mellow. It's going to be a nice bedroom for guests. Um, should do anything more here. Maybe some flower pots as well. Do we have a granite? We do. Um, here and there is a room for the plants. Good. Oh, we're lacking Weasward seeds. Hmm. Can we get three over there? Maybe. Still three key of these wards. Three key seed always ward. Ward seed. Um enable drop enable drop drops enough already. Uh, they're putting them there. And then I'm gonna send it over. Because that's my cooling here. If we look at the temperature. Um, we're cooling down the area nicely there. Some of these plants produce a lot of heat. Is that the case? Might be. Well, the duplicates working. Also, the mood lamp. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of heat from this area. The grill, of course. It's heating up a lot of stuff. Um, critters don't want to jump down. They could. <laughs> Grabbing some barbecue. And there's some coal. Um, all the coal from the kitchen should also be delivered upwards. Um, do I not have a dedicated rail here to feed the critters? Does not look like it. Hmm. This one maybe? Yes. That's it. Good. So we do have one. Um, let's, let's do coal, um, agriculture, clothing, consumable, or coal. Because we need all the coal in that crystal stable there. Um, nothing happening here. There's a lot of coal there. So if I tell them to put the coal there, it's going to be very bad. Um... <laughs> I could have one that grabs only stuff here. And where is that going then? Nowhere. Um, can I need to block off there for that thing? So this is reachable by both, just like that. And that should not be. Maybe I'm just gonna move it one tile over. So that one can reach it anymore. Yes. Um, cannot do it everywhere though. Or could I? I think the biggest problem with this ranch is that the three split of the conveyor rail is so convoluted. What if it if would come in from the right here? And then just drop out here. Or even there. I think that would be better. Good. So we have the food come in here. And uh, then it goes into the convolution. Um, what if we were to run it then out? Right again. Mm, I don't know. Oh, the florals died. So we don't have to worry about that any longer. Florals died died. We never had enough seeds. We have enough seeds now. Um, for florals. Hmm. But do we really need the nectar? I mean, it's something to do with the floral, with the blossom seeds. So I kind of would love that. Um, maybe we should have a dedicated rail for that. Is there a rail going up from here? No. 
there's two rails coming down but no rail coming up so we would have to do it from the kitchen there's a rail going to the kitchen so it's not a problem blossoms can go here and then daisy chain over into the kitchen and then the critters can be fed um what is this here right this is new the scalding is just for uh, probably the ceramic i'm using ceramic sometimes that's why and we have hot ceramic accessible me if i make it not accessible maybe that will be a better idea since we restrict that and uh, then come time we can uh, move it out but now we are um, almost at 20 degrees so that is because of those items that we're shipping out so let's just keep it at three items every uh, every minute and that's then good um, yes, 20 degrees we are right now. It's fine. The volcano is at 20 degrees. Good. Um, should be done this stuff. So, they're taking a long while to build this. But it's fine. And let's look inside the rocket. Always check on the duplicant. They're hungry. So eat something. Mm -hmm. They're eating from the ground, but they're not stressed, and the morale is still up. Let's look at the morale. 26 of 16. Um, high morale. Sunny disposition. Flowers. There's not much that is uh, stressing them out, but I really want to build this still. Let's have them build it. Uh, I don't know why they're not doing it. Do it now, please. <laughs> Good. How many data banks? 243. AirPod. I don't have a seed for it. Um, but I do have a barracks now. Wait, what? I did have barracks before. Uh, this is not 20 uh, decor. No, it's only 10. Because it's from glass, not diamond. I'm not sure. Put the buddy butt somewhere else. Put the buddy butt there. Um, would that then help? Let's rip it out. Rip it out now. And then we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna land soon and then uh, have maybe two buddy butts. Just for kicks. Good, we're grabbing more plastic. Buddy butt here, plant. Cannot? Oh, we have the power outlet fitting. Oh. Can we put this somewhere else? Hmm. Can, I think we can put it over there. Yes, we could. I'm not sure if we have enough power for everything. Then. Let's try and deconstruct it. Build it somewhere else. Can you do it? Let's click the duplicate. They're very busy. Let's get them doing it and get them to do it. And we can uh, disable this for a second so they don't get stuck in that uh, animation all the time. Let's do the power outlet over there. Deconstruct uh, the uh, wires here. I probably need, need those wires, that's why. I'm not sure I have enough uh, material. Probably not. I have one more, so one, two. Mm. It's not possible unless I use lead, though. Let's put lead in here. Let's not deconstruct those wires, but deconstruct this wire definitely. And then have a gold wire over there. Good. Then we're going to connect everything up. Um, this is need power, so we can enable it again since it needs power only fair. Here we're going to do the buddy button now. <laughs> major, major radiation sickness. That's not good. That is not good. Um, they need to they need to go into the bed. To the bed there. 
Uh, if we look at the rooms, hmm, this is going to be a lab, but I don't think I need this. Oh, but I do. I need a decor item for lab. All right. Let's just build this up and see where we are then. Good, we're delivering the stuff, we're building the things. Good, we're having power again, probably. Right. Uh, except we don't have power again. Oh, yeah. Connected. And we can go research again with our major radiation sickness. It's actually not great. But we're sleeping now. Getting rid of the major radiation. This sh should be going on for quite a while. So I think the major radiation sickness is no big deal. But I might be wrong. Um, so do we have more room for some blockage? I really would love to block off the radiation sickness. I think I can. Deconstruct and revolve it. <laughs> oh, maybe the air is too thin or something. This will create some oxygen that I don't want to be created. But that's all right. Let's deconstruct that and build another tile. Can we build a tile? Can build a plastic tile here to block off radiation. Good, let's do this real quick. Um, <laughs> should we mop this up? Sure, why not? Still get the scalding there. I don't know why, but uh, let's heal up. You know, she's building something somewhere. Is this too hot? But she should be in a suit, though. Hmm. Uh, apparently, we can reach things, but we have to deconstruct the airflow tiles anyhow to recreate a vacuum there. And <laughs> let's not break this, because that would break the vacuum. Fantastic. And here we are there. Good. Let's just do, just do our vanity projects today. Hopefully nothing will break today. <laughs> just a relaxing run there. Um, cry tank, 3000 is empty. Good, let's go back into the rocket because that's where we have problems now. Um, nope. Let's build this up. Good, let's look at the radiation. It is pretty horrible here. This is mostly safe, but hmm. um, I should give them a better schedule, to be fair. Uh, so, what is this radiation blocking on plastic? 68, alright. Good, and this is not a room, but this is a room. Let's find out about the radiation. Major radiation sickness, man. Oh, man. Good, we're puking out more stuff. Do we have polluted? Let's look at the gas overlay. No, we still don't have polluted oxygen. That's all right. Um, not emitting overpressure is good. Let's mop it up right away. And we're going to hang another plant. If we can. I mean, this is glass, though. Hmm. Doesn't matter. This should be a, still a barracks. A year of glass, 10 radius. Deconstruct. Let's look at the furniture, I think. Uh, if it's from diamond. Has higher decor. No, it does not. Hmm. We need a better decor plant. That's what we need. Good. Um, let's make more data banks. I know it's going to be in the radiation, but it's mostly safe. So we're good there. 
Can we land though? I kinda wanna land. Still no go. No go on the land. Good, let's create a vacuum here then. Um, let's stop this madness. Did we grab all the stuff? Not yet. Oxalite seems to be gone. This is emitting. Good, we're idle. Mm. Let's get the oxalite. So, sweep only. Um, it's consumable ore, of course. Oxalite. And let's sweep it up. Good, the rancher doesn't want to do it. Because they're stuck. Let's unstuck them. And uh, then we're gonna also start over with our vacuuming out project. And uh, here as well. Let's kill this tile off. Vacuum? Wait, what? Became a vacuum. Nice. Unstuck that. Um, hmm. will it stay a vacuum though? I'm not sure. Sometimes this slosh is about, I think. Um, but we're gonna run this very intimately to create more plastic. Uh, we got two critters here now. Um, everybody here is not working. It's going to grab fruit. It's definitely too hot. But now we're good here, fantastic. So that worked nicely. Um, let's look at the temperature. And we're slowly reducing the temperature right below the iron volcano, which is pretty cool. And here, uh, somehow pollute dirt got in here a lot. Hmm, so should this somehow empty out, we're gonna have a problem. Um, it's not going to empty out. Bleach stone and put the dirt sweep only. Hmm, maybe. Organic, put the dirt. Grab it. I mean, we do have a storage for that, don't we? Let's just grab it out of there. No need to put it in that bin. That's for bleach zone only. Right, so let's look at the project there. Another vanity project. I'm not sure we need an electro setup. Um, but I kind of want one. So we're starting at the, at the transformer for the self-powering part of the system. Um, the fatty wire is gonna run in and a small wire it's gonna come out. <laughs> There's gonna be a little loop, but that's fine. Uh, smart battery, smart battery. Or should we have an opening there? Don't know, we could do an opening there. Just for kicks, leaves room for something else. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Good, we're gonna do the transformer flipped. Good. Actually, wait a second. No, 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 we're gonna run it from, ah, yes. That's how we're gonna do it. Um, but we do need an airflow tile here then. I don't think that's a problem. Airflow tile is gonna go here. Um, we're gonna reach everything then. Oh man, again, this is somehow not working. Um, but a quicker way in is possible, nonetheless. I'm gonna have a through walk there. So now the chance one for the third time. Mm, let's put it in. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's not working good. <laughs> that is all right. In the end, we can uh, oh, we can close off this area, hopefully. Um, but I would love to have a middle way. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Okay, now let's get the cord, put it in, and the little wire as well. And it's going to branch over there. Um. <laughs> we could bridge it over here. Already. So it's right and straight. And what else do we need to power the pump? Uh... The hydrogen pump needs to be self-powered. Um, we're going to have only one hydrogen pump. <laughs> it's going to be here. Down at the bottom. Where there is room. This is just not feasible. This is just not feasible. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to, into the sandbox and have a nice design because this is going nowhere if I do try to do it like that. I don't know. I need to paint it in and um, see if everything there fits. Um, the fatty wire running like that is not a good idea. If I run it through the middle, though. Again, we have scalding, and again, it's the constructor. Let's see what she's constructing. Um, storing materials. Did she grab something hot? Let's see. She's going, she's running. She's grabbing some glass. Right. So we missed the uh, the moment where she got scalded again. Um, no oxygen's coming out. Let's open the door for a split second there. Still got too much oxygen inside of here. It's three tons of oxygen. It's definitely going to pop some eardrums. Mm, what are we storing here? A bisolite. Storing a light here. Um, let's no longer do that. Has a priority seven, so that's why. Should be here. Should go here the light, But if I do it a priority seven, then the other things are gonna break, and they never do the proximity. But that's all right. That is all right. So these are no longer. Ah, uh, growing because these are there. Um, I think I can move the, the pumps over. <laughs> if only I knew what is going on. Let me deliver some sulfur. Good. Picked up some sulfur. Delivered some sulfur. All manual delivery. Just not ideal. Maybe we should up the sulfur time to 10%. Let's do it right now. Activate. Good. Because the system is working just fine. And we have a little bit of a cool steam vent here. Cool steam vent tamer. And it's running. Just running. Let's look at the fluids. It's water. And it's helping out with this here. Let's stop that as well. I want the other water to go out first. Mm -hmm. Good. Is the shaft done finally? No. Are we not reaching things? I think we are still reaching things. Is alright, let's look inside the rocket. We're good. 
some puking and we're good. Let's get the puke up and is this uh, puke is clean. Comes out of the mouth. Uh, comes out of the mouth and um, no pukage. No bad pukage. It's clean polluted water. That's what it is. But about here again. Um, good. And there is polluted oxygen. Hopefully we're gonna breathe it up or something. It's just a few grams. Um, <laughs> the pump is also pumping. Yeah, we have to pour the stuff out as soon as we land. Let's see. Still cannot land. Well, gives me the opportunity to work on this stuff there. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to tidy everything up. But that apparently happened. <laughs> Let's cancel the order. Good. Right. So the oxalide is hopefully in here now. Let's remove it. And it's not emitting because it's overpressurized. But there is more. Um. Hmm. We sweep it up. Will everything break? Probably. Let's get the hauling point up and running again. Because it was a good idea. Um. Sweep only. Consumable ore. Oxalite. High priority, and here is more. Get rid of it. Errands. Nobody's doing it. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody's doing it. Oh, of course, they're doing it. I have to look at the box and not the, the oxalite itself. Right. So this looks great. It's still a vacuum. Means we can do a pump and pump out less petrol than we're creating. So it's 200 key now. Let's do this thing 1% at the time and see if it's getting uh, more petrol or less. It's becoming more petrol or less than silver plumbing. The good pump it needs to be steel. Connecting up. Good. Um, oxalide was being delivered. Is there more? I think that's it. We can delete the oxygen and build our stuff. Um, build everything there with a priority nine. Good. And there's Curtis there. Which is weird. Current count two. Count X, count Chris. Hmm. Maybe a lot of eggs get dropped in here? I don't know. Should be only one other type. Um. No, because this is not a door. Yeah, we should put a door in here instead and hook it up to automation. See if that's a good idea. Um, on the other hand, I don't think it's that important. Um, so let's instead try and get this going here. Can get a nice vacuum here. Good. And the shaft is going fantastic. I really want to land. Just get the data banks and everything. Um, so we can continue on the research and build a plutonium engine, nuclear reactor, something. 
Oh, we have Worm here now. Fantastic. That means we can stop making ceramic here. Good. Deliver some clay out. Um, hmm. It's daisy chained. Right, the electrolyzer. <laughs> I don't know. But I really want this fat wire to run through here. Connect everything up. Let's uh, deconstruct the helper tower for a second. Um, it's going to be around the power running through here. And uh, then we need to connect it up to everything else. Mm. So we need a second run of the wire. Isn't this here all right? I think that's already all right. Let's deconstruct the quartz. And then we're gonna have the hydrogen pump down here, just as planned. But it needs to be part of the self-powering. Or it needs external power. And I think that's more like it. Yes. It needs external power. Good. And should be two pumps or one pump? I think one pump is more than sufficient. Um, let's get it in and then close off here and close off there as well. And here's just enough room for a lamp um, to work fast there. But the lamp is going to produce heat needlessly. They're going to work in the dark. So it's going to happen. Um, but why do I have the space then there? Hmm. I don't think it matters. What I could do is a duplicate motion sensor. And then, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Room is going to be dip bigger, but don't care. I'm going to make it nice. Good. So where's the ventilation here? Gas pump. And there. Close this up. What is this? There's a microchip there. Fantastic. There's already a microchip. Um, we're going to make this from gold. Or iron. Hmm, I wonder if they're gonna reserve the iron. Let's try. Operating or supplying. I don't think they're gonna reserve the iron. Mm, let's just leave it at that. And then we have to close this off here as well. Let's do that like, uh, well. Like so, uh, what is this? We're tidying up here for some reason. No need to tidy up. Build and priority nine. Good, so we're coming and doing it. Means we can uh, do even more. Also, this can go like that. Fantastic, you can do this first before we do other things. Uh, wait a minute. We close this off like so then. And open up and everything will drop down. Yes. Good, so we need the helper tile again probably. This is sedimentary rock, this is sedimentary rock, this is mafic rock. What the heck? What the heck is all this, man? Steel sedimentary rock? Sedimentary rock. I don't think we have enough of this stuff. And that is the problem there. Mm. Let's build that and overbuild the mafic. 
good. Over with all the mafic, and here, um, in the middle, we're going to deconstruct the buildings to save some material, and we're going to use uh, gold maybe. Um, we should have enough gold. Is this thing erupting? Because last time it was uh, short of erupting. It did erupt. Good. So we should have a tad more gold here now, which is fantastic. Um, food, power, base, metal tile, gold. Yeah, we can build some tiles. Like so. And um, then we're gonna run the fatty wire. But again, the self-powering. <laughs> uh, can I run it around? Um, could run it through here instead. And have the transformer there. That would save us some, some grace. Um, let's cancel this and deconstruct that. Um, have the helper tile in again. And we have the wiring. Uh, go up there and through a thing. Where's the thing? Have what conductive joint plate? Rotate. And that would then mean we have the power transformer like that. Good. Um, power deconstruct as well. There. We're gonna go up here. This is normal. This is planned. Gonna run through all the things. Battery is only for self powering. Um. <laughs> transformer, we're gonna flip. Transformer, transformer. I think this might be the tenth time that I put the transformer in. So, but um, playing this out of sandbox, it's just how it is. Wire, steel, good. So I don't know what uh, what else machines are gonna go in here. Um, I think though a gas pump in every each and one of them doesn't mean we're using this. Um, digitary two PC, what is going on? Why are you scalded? Delivering something probably. <laughs> Let's look at the health of the duplicates. Maybe we need to put them in there. Yes, construct a cell fire. It's pretty much wounded. As well as Emily, but she should be already in the hospital. No, unassigned. Good cell fire first. Ineligible. Um, Emily can go there. Yeah, I don't know where we're getting scalded. It is a mystery again. Um, maybe this door is still open? No. Shouldn't be. Let's look at the water temperature. Just gonna do maintain maintenance today. Just gonna do maintenance. Um, no big changes. Mop up some water. Um, build the shaft here play with the electrolyzer that we don't need yeah it's gonna be nice um can we reach everything does not look like it wait we can go in here and then the ladder <gasps> so we can reach everything uh maintenance we can uh, close this off let's close it off like so Gonna be completely shut off. Sutsi, good to see you. How are you doing? How's your colony? Um, here, everything is just running. I'm just waiting on a, on my shaft to be completed here, or it's just a it's just the beginning of a shaft. I'm putting in bedrooms. That's nice. Bedrooms are cool and nicer than barracks. Um. It's a vanity project, though. <laughs> it's not really needed, but I always do bedrooms. I like to have the uh, the visual there. I forgot the background tiles. Oh, me too. Me too. 
Um, I need to have a discotheque going here. Uh, so let's look at the research and uh, get the automation going. Just need the ribbons and stuff. And then later on that, the multiplexing. And um, we're going to get the background tiles uh, going then nicely. Uh, we definitely don't need those ladders. This is all of the room for the automation. Um, can we put in ribbons? No, we're just researching them. That's right. Maybe something else? Nah. Yeah, we just need the research. And then we can connect this up. Does this need power? Yes, I think it does. It has power. So we're just waiting here. And then we can have three bedrooms at least completely. And on the other colony, uh, they go without. They have temp shift plates and stuff. <laughs> um, should I have more temp shift plates here? I mean, this is now a lot of bedrooms. We could, like so, and like so, and here as well, and there. Good. So I have my background tiles. Good thing you remind me. Um, here they're just fine. Should do the rest as well. I don't know. Then I cannot work on it. Door is closed. Let's look at the radiation. Is it getting blocked? It's barely safe. So it's safe. It's barely safe, but it's safe. And is this radiation blocking properties? 27% radiation blocking only. Mm, that's not much. That is not much at all. Good, but it's too hot here. I hope these wizards can do something. Look at the temperature there. Yeah, I don't know why they're not doing anything. 60 degrees here, wait. I see there's something leaking. Should not. I don't know why this is hot. <laughs> no idea, the power transformer is running all the time. Maybe that's why the grill here is not helping either. So we have six wizards, but um, uh, once the electrolyzer setup is done, we're gonna run some uh, run some brine. So why is this not getting uh, uh, swept up here? I do have a manual use here. Ah, oh, because it's full. They're doing it all the time. So we're just feeding those guys, getting some sand, the pokey shells. That's all right. Oh man, is the is the tidy up order again? Oh, come on. Tidy up. What is it? You, you don't. You don't. Uh, you don't look for one second. You're not careful for one second, and then there's a tidy order all over the place. <laughs> That's not good. Here, it's still there. Let's cancel the tidying. What the heck? The only tidy that I want is this polluted dirt to sweep my critters. Uh, to sweep, to feed my critters. That's all I want. I want my pokey shells to produce some sand. And that is why the Super AA-70 is coming here. Grabbing the pollute. How much? 140? Wait, what? 140 kilo? Let's look at the soup. Skills. Soup AA-70. They should be able to carry more. Should be able to do a lot of things. Mm, I don't know what they're doing, so I'm not learning anything on them. They're fine, um, as they are. Hey, now they're going here for nothing? That is so weird. Good. <laughs> uh, let's get some seeds in here. Flower pot, spindly, copy settings. There you go. Um, there's rot there as well. The only place I want to tidy it up is the bedrooms. That's, that can be tidied up. But I think I'm going to end up with rot here. No matter what. No idea. Good. Is our steam basin done? Still not. Priority. Let's do it right now. I don't want to wait any longer. 
Scalding. Good. Oh, this is the new planetoid. That's right. Um, here we're gonna build a nice little colony. Nice little base for a third colony. Then within the colony, the colonies. And there's a teleporter transmitter here as well. Too scared to go there. Um, <laughs> can we send a rover inside a teleporter? That could be fantastic. That could be amazing. I think we can. See destination? A Tomazon. Wait, what? I know that planet. I know that planetoid. Um, would that mean that uh, we're going, uh, we're coming out here? Probably. That's a bit weird. So we have two teleporters going to the same place. Hmm. Knowledgeable. Already inspected. Outgoing side. One pre programmed destination. Good. It doesn't give me the option to click it again. So I don't know where it's going. But it's, I think it said uh, Torita. Which would be uh, not ideal. I have a natural gas here, and there's a little polluted. Speaking of a little bit polluted, we have now a little bit polluted in here. Wait, no power? How come? Oh, it was night? No. Yeah. Hmm. I think we need to land. I think we need to land. We're lacking power and everything. Best would be to land during the daytime. Now is noon, so we could do it. Let's look at the planet. Can we land? Nobody's building stuff. So if we land now, I think we're gonna get a little bit of steam back into the tank. So let's land here and uh, go into the guest quarters there. Um, is unassigned. They're on a schedule. Good, I'm going to land. Uh, new rocket, rockets, land here. I can do the land here, but I will not land until Digger Builder Havoc is done with building stuff. Because I don't want to land on top of them. Um, also, they need some O2. So I'm going to go down there. Oh, I wanted to do the polluted mud in here. That's right. Consumable ore? No. Organic? Yes. Polluted mud. Let's put it all in there. Good. And um, continue on with the build. What about on um, the first colony? Can it do anything? No. I should land. <laughs> they're, they're lacking the data banks, that's why. If I land, I can bring them some data banks. Uh, let's get this going here. I need a vacuum. And then build the counter flow drip. Dripple the uh, dripple the drop. Um, what's it called? Spill. That's the word that I'm looking for. Counter flow against the spill. And scalding again. Hmm. Oh, that's my automation. Good. Let's uh, do the other automation as well. Good, and then we need the data banks sooner rather than later. Um, what is this, by the way? Let's move that up. And then that as well. Just doing some maintenance. And nothing new today. What about the electrolyzer, by the way? Should that not be... Should that, should that not be a thing? By now? Maybe. So I can build a helper ladder here. And then deconstruct all the stuff. Deconstruct. Good. Um, external power to that pump, please. 
Uh, cobalt, iron, aluminum. Let's do the cobalt thing. Good. So it has power, but it has no automation, nothing. Mm, we could put automation in here. Wait, we need an end gate, anyhow. Let's see. End gate from gold. Um, hmm. Could work. Uh, so we're checking the uh, the pipes if it's full, and we're also checking the atmosphere if there's enough atmosphere in there. Right. Hmm. Where is the pipe gonna go? I think that is already clear. So let's put it in. Gas pipe from anything. Let's do a black one from obsidian. Uh, gonna check if it's full here on the way somewhere. Because it needs to be completely filled up. Um. Maybe here, check if it's full, and then go in. And the atmosphere check. Um. <laughs> this is going to look different. Um, the only tile that is free actually is that one. Uh, so we can have another free tile up there. And there is where we're gonna check for hydrogen. And here's where we're gonna check for pressure. Good. And then we just have to connect the automation up, probably with bridges. Mm. We're going in here, like so. But there's also the atmosphere sensor. Let's have the atmosphere sensor there. And let's have the other thingy there. And then connect this up like so. Have the automation bridge. Rotate it into this position. And then we can do our obsidian ventilation. Um, hmm. Should we have this insulated? No. I don't think it matters either way. So let's do it like that. And then... And put it in there and uh, then continue on all the way and into the next one very good and this is the only pump that we're gonna have and this is the only large power transformer that we're gonna have so uh, the lower level here is just for these things and the upper levels are all going to be electrolyzers <laughs> That at least was my plan. One, two, three, five, not four. Um, hmm. So setting it down one spot. And this again is mafic rock. We're lacking all the stuff. Priority nine here. The storage bin can be deconstructed. I don't know what goes in there, cobalt. Good. Let's look at the rocket because I can't imagine they're doing well up there. But they are. They are. There's a lot of puke lying around, and they even breathed up the polluted oxygen. Very good. Good job there, Suke Ari. But still, I kind of want to land. Um. So let's land as soon as the duplicates are done here. <laughs> They're done. Let's land. Land there. Oh, we're lacking a ladder to reach us. What is all this? Oh, it's asymmetric. Good. As soon as the thing lands, pumps should go. Here we go, we're pumping. And we have no power for some reason. Huh? Pump! You have power, pump! No power, there's a battery right there, solar panel and everything. 
battery is empty. How come the battery is empty? Oh man. What are you, what are you grabbing? The data banks, yes, of course. Oh dear. <laughs> Picking up all the data banks. Um Hmm. Yeah, let's get some oxygen in, into the rocket. At least. So this should be grounded. It is. Here it says grounded. Perfect. And um, uh, that means K. Ari is helping out here. Oh man, the battery was empty. Is there a way to do that? Is there a way to figure that out? And the scalding here again? Hmm. I don't know where they're getting scalded. I have nothing hot here. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing hot here. What is the scalding? Um, let's get the vacuum going. Like so. Priority 9. Oops. Priority 7. And another tile here. And uh, there is also possible. Good. And then I'm going to connect this up with the other vacuum. I'm going to have the vacuum here and can continue on with the spill. Right. And here is more stuff getting picked up for no reason. Do I have more pick up it? Yes, here. And there. And you can go glitch into there. Right. This is empty. Can mop up even more. Sleet wheat is growing. Let's look at the other colony. There's five duplicates there now. And let's see if she's helping. Yeah, she's helping out. And she's giving a thumbs up. I think this is great. We should we launch and then, and then land again? Should we have a temporary tank? Like an, uh, an overflow tank for uh, for steam? Hmm. We already have a large steam tank. If all fails, we can run a pipe and then refuel the rocket. Um, but we don't need to. So what I was thinking now, maybe... Uh, get some things inside the rocket that we need for uh, planet colonization. I think that might be a nice thing to do. Priority 9 here. Good. Priority 7 there. Yeah. And what if we were to put in more drywall? Do we have even material? We could do obsidian. Obsidian drywall. Yes, let's do that. And can we close this off? Um, we could have a liquid lock here. Yes. And then close it off up there. Good, that sounds like a plan. That means no drywall here, but instead over there, everywhere. Good. Mm. Behind the rocket as well. Yeah, they have a lot to do. Let's get some boxes with the hauling points. Good. Can have it nice and symmetric. Have all the obsidian here and the background. And um, what is the material here? I think we don't have the material. Igneous rock. Do we still have? Yes, we still have a little bit of igneous rock. 
But we can do obsidian there as well. Just to mix it up a bit. Um, then we don't need that ladder. Right. Reaching everything is important. Priority 9 on the reach ladders. If somebody is sick because of something. Hmm. And priority 9 here as well. But the rest of the obsidian tiles can go like that. And uh, then the steam will have less chance to escape again. We could launch and land. How about that? Launch and land. Just to <laughs> just refuel. <laughs> that could be nice. Right. So what we're going to put inside. Hmm. We could take some refined metal. Uh, where is there even room for boxes? Hauling point here, there, and um, here I'm meant to do something else. Um, like an aeropod from diamond. And then put in a nice plant. Um, meanwhile, cooling down the thing might be important as well. Ah, uh, so let's not do this. Let's just have a normal granite flower pot. Put in the ward seat again. And then uh, let the system cool down a little bit. We still have water. The water is not getting emptied out. They're very good here in the bathroom. Um, furniture. Flower pot from granite here again. Um, could do the pump. I, I don't really need the bedroom. But on the other hand, I don't think we even need a pump. When we land, the oxygen, the carbon dioxide here will even out. The carbon dioxide will be on the bottom. And if it's too much, the plants are going to take care of it. Um, but we do need more oxygen. I think we breathed up almost 100 key of the stuff in the little trip that we had there for all the data. Um, let's look at the research though. Yes, looking great. Multiplexing almost done. Um, let's have this uncontrolled. So what, we need, what do we need for our trip? We should have a little bit of gold or something. Just a little bit of refined metal. How much gold is here? Um, we're not going to look at the sand. We're not going to look at the slug eggs. Sucro, sulfur. Do we still need sulfur here? I don't think we do. The scalding. Yeah, there's no way to find out where that happened. I think they should have uh, should have some way for the player to check that out. So if I click on her and says scalding, it should say from where. If you click on the scalding, it should uh, just immediately show what thing scalded her. Um, wait a minute. Invalid building location. Man. Let's get this going as well. Utilities. Also, I don't like gunk here. Deconstruct the wire. Utilities. Sweepy. So the sweepy here uh, can sweep up the, the line. And uh, since that is then sweep inside of the sweep bee, a duplicate will come and put it there instead. And that is as close to automation as I want to go because I already have enough shipping here. I don't need any more. And it's just a short run there. So that's fine. Um, we still have sandstone tiles here. Uh, we could renovate just for kicks. But I'm not sure if the diamond hatches will not drop down or something. Uh, but we're gonna try. Let's renovate the place a little bit. Good. Meanwhile, here, of course, our uh, little, little bit of a shaft there is almost good. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. It's gonna take forever until this is built up. 
Um, can I have a door here? I wonder. I probably will have to have this open somewhat. Uh, let's do more obsidian here. There. There. Here. Everywhere. Good. Uh, so we're not building the... And we're doing it. Fantastic. This is great. Also need obsidian background for the uh, symmetric clicker block that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna leave this open so the duplicates can uh, work on the window tile. Of course, this um, has the downside uh, that duplicates will get scalded here if there is still steam there. It's gonna hold for a long while. The steam inside in here is gonna hold for a long while. Um, can I not have background tile there? Build? No, for some reason here. Because this is, there's a door. Probably that's why. Can I build one there? Hmm. Well, it's fine. Good. Meanwhile, we're working on the uh, automation. So we can have our background tiles in the bedrooms. Proper. Let's do the automation. Where is it? Ribbon writer, ribbon reader. So we need a couple of writers or four of them or so. I don't know. Let's just do a little bit of something there. Doesn't matter what. And then we need a normal thing. And where is the counter? It's a memory toggle. Hmm. I don't think I have it yet. But I do need the automation ribbon here. From gold. And... Can I have maybe a delay or something? Hmm. I could do delays like so. Um... Hmm. Delay, delay, delay. Maybe like so. And then connect it up. Or over here. Or build it where I actually have room to build it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Good, let's just have a little bit of discotheque going. Um, still not able to get the... Uh, and get the binary counter going or something. Wait, how far are we in the research? Ah, it's gonna take a while. Um, which reminds me, I'm, I meant to renovate this as well. Start that. You can suck that marble. Yeah, like today I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna do some maintenance and maybe some electrolyzering here and just watch the duplicates work. It's very relaxing. We have a little bit of a uh, launch pad here for a rocket. And it's more of, of a landing pad than a launch pad. Because uh, we have guests here. We have a guest of honor here. Uh, Subkairi is here living in her in her guest chamber. And it's still not built up for some reason. That's rude. But she's fine. She has a mirth leaf and a cot and golden doors. And it's a private bedroom, so I hope she's not complaining. And here is the temperature problem that we have. 45 degrees, and we have six Wheeze words working 24-7, and they're not able to reduce the heat. That's a bit terrible. But it can't be helped right now. Um, but what we can do is get some, get some wiring up and running. Um, what do I need here? Right. I just need the pump. And then connect it up to the transformer. And what is the best way to connect it up? Hmm. Directly? Or... Uh, like so. 
Yes, I think this is the best way to connect it up. Um, here maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. It's fine. Um, we can run the wheel to get the thing going. And then we can already fill up the airflow tile there. And afterwards we can uh, <laughs> mop up the liquid lock. And have it open. Which is not a good idea. So what we can do instead is... Uh, get a door inside there, mechanized door, and uh, then open it up when we need uh, the oxygen. Alternatively, we could run the pump. So the pump is then also self-powered. Huh. Honestly, I don't like that much. But we're gonna have enough enough pumps. We're gonna have a pump in each chamber. Um, hmm. And then those pumps are going to get connected up with uh, Atmos suits and strategically positioned vents, like it is now the case. I just need to connect it up, that's all. And then I can uh, leave the auxiliary oxygen out and not have it at all if I'm done with the electrolyzer. But an electrolyzer is always uh, heat up and cooling down work. And um, <laughs> I already have a heat problem here. 50 degrees, are they producing heat instead of coldness? I don't know. It's a bit weird, these reservoirs here. And I don't know what they're doing. It's six of them, should be doing something. Are they not powerful enough to deal with two batteries and a power transformer? Is that it? Are we sucking heat out oh, with a temperature shift plate? No. No idea. No clue. No clue what's going on. But if this is heating up more, then I have to run the brine. <laughs> um... Could, we could finish this up. Um, I could just leave this as is and not have a mechanized airlock. Yeah, just leave it as is and uh, collect the oxygen. So if you come there and do some maintenance, then we're going to breathe out carbon dioxide. And if we breathe it out here, we're going to break the system. So we cannot have that as well. Huh. That is a problem. Whatever, have this on auto. And then let nobody in. Um. Hmm. And then let them in when they can go in. Carbon dioxide will definitely go here at the bottom. So this pump then is not very clean uh, because if it sucks up uh, the gas in this spot and the carbon, sucks, carbon dioxide down there, uh, it has a chance to go there and on the next suckage, it can get sucked in. Hmm. I don't know. Well, the normal idea is to, to have it open. Just have it open. I think we might open it up soon. Deconstruction errand. Gonna hopefully do it soon. But there is so much to do on the priority nine. I really wanted to finish this. Um, but it takes them a good while. Um, but still, we can think about this. Because this is now the, the relax relaxation session. I'm not I'm not trying anything anything brutal here. Um, but what we could do is look at the achievements. Maybe we got more? Let's see. No. Unlock every item in research. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, we need to find the gassy new planet as well. And we need eight more duplicants. <laughs> Moving on up. Gassy again. Same uh, challenge. 
Not okay, but pretty cool. Cool down a building. <laughs> well, we're gonna do that. Uh, we could do that with an AETN, I think, but I'm not sure. Just have it run all the time and it will cool itself down. Maybe, I don't know. Totally tubular. Um, we need plastic production up and running better. And then we have uh, uranium extraction we need to do. And a reactor running for five cycles. That is, I think we're going to do this last or something. Cluster conquest. Rovers landed. All right, we can do that. Or duplicates. And the mining is what we really want to do. Um, analyze all the seeds. We started with the Bristle Blossom. Um, should we start this up? No, not today. We're not going to do it today. Today is just a little bit of maintenance and that's all. Soft launch. Launch pad on a new world without a teleporter. Build a launch pad. I don't know what's a launch pad. Is that a rocket platform? I think it might be. Oh. And here we deconstructed stuff. We're losing the steam here as well. Flipping around here. Um, can we have background tiles? Now that the rocket is not here. Good question, probably. More radiation. We're coming in here sometimes for some reason. Um, but we have too much other things to do. Or too many, rather. Um, but I still want this pot now. I want this pot done. So I can cool down the rocket a little bit. 30 degrees is too hot. This oxyfern, if it gets too hot, if it gets to 40 degrees and then doesn't convert the carbon dioxide, I cannot be in here indefinitely anymore. Berry sludge, wait a minute. Make sure not to eat the berry sludge while we're grounded. Let's go there and go down and not eat it anymore. Good. So we built this up, perfect. Let's put a wee sword in and cool down the area a little bit. Um, Oxyphones are not dropping seats. So this doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to copy the settings. Just looking for the seat. Um, here we go. Copy settings, go inside the rocket. There we go. Um, so the pump here, needed or not needed? What if this was not a bedroom, but a great hall instead? Let's try that. We're gonna deconstruct the thing, and we're gonna build instead uh, some furniture for food. A mess table. We can build from steel, because why not? And uh, then we're gonna find out if this can be a great hall or not. Definitely have to deconstruct the bed though. Good. And let's look at the planetoid. It's very nice. It's very nice. This is a launch pad. Um, this should be on the edge, exactly on the edge here. So a larger rocket has no room, unfortunately. <laughs> 25 is the maximum here um, for these guys. Um, that's all right. Um, they're going very fast here, but when they're done with building, I'm gonna make this symmetric again. Good. Um, we have this here. Uh, we should have a walk through here, because why not? Um, can we close this up symmetric? I think we can. Let's deconstruct a few tiles, and that will also yield us some materials. So we're not running out all the time. Good duplicate motion sensor here. Um, signal counter, there it is. Signal counter, I found it. 
good. Um, time sensor, duplicate motion sensor here from gold. So we got to take this automation that is there, put it here instead. And then we're going to have a mood lamp. Automation, utilities, stations, furniture. We have a nice mood lamp here. Diamond, that is perfect. For some reason, they don't want to build this. They have other things to do, and many other things. But that's all right. Um, what do I want to do? The automation is right. Still a little bit of discotheque there. Preliminary. Um, where is the counter? Second counter. Let's put it in. Anyway, is fine. And connect it up uh, with an automation wire. And connect up these two with that, and uh, the other two are going to connect up with those. Like so. And then we're going to have a little bit of a discotheque. Um, get the automation. Yep. Very good. What will be the colors? Just like last time, uh, when we had a reload, we use the same colors. It's going to be green and stuff. And we're going to copy the settings here from over to there. So everything is nice and streamlined. Good. This bedroom is too small and I want to renovate here, but I need to put the left or somewhere else. So that's why. I'm gonna have this count until until two. And only one is connected up, why? Oh, because I didn't configure. So this is for bit one and this is for bit two and this is for bit three and a th that one is for bit four. And now we have a nice discotheque going here. And it's going. Uh, actually, it's more like a traffic light uh, that is bugged out. <laughs> but it's alright. It's really flashy. I like it. Is it too much? I don't know. Um, we could have this higher for less blinkage less blinkage on a lower one but still a very high blinkage on the upper one yeah, so like that <laughs> it doesn't matter we're gonna have a more complicated one now as soon as the research is completed and we have the multiplexing then we're gonna do a completely different one um can we get more water in the farms now maybe let's try we set the timer here. I'm gonna get the water out. And as soon as this is done, I can reclaim the territory. Oops. I'm done with the research. So we have the multiplexer, signal selector, signal distributor. That is good. Um hopefully I'm not gonna mess up things now. <laughs> yes, I did mess up things a little bit. That's fine, but I need uh, my Discord to find out how the how the um, automation goes for the new type of disk attack I want to do. Um, and where where can we build it? Anywhere where there is room. So we're gonna again have an oscillator. Let's do that there. From gold. Actually, we need more room probably. Mm, let's do it down here, maybe. Yeah, sure. Good. And uh, then again, the counter. Second counter here. And then we need the plexer, the multiplexer, signal distributor there. Um, that one is fine. Oh man. This looks, um, this looks evolved. Um, I can do a switch. Signal switch here. If we can reach it, I think we can. 
from lead for some reason. And we can connect it up. Oscillator, go in there, do this. The other switch. And uh, then we can read out the stuff. Uh, what is this here? I do not know. Do I need that? I'm not sure. Sends a buzz of 104 signal. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it does. Property? <laughs> don't have a clue. But we're going to copy these things. Oh, man. Oh, fantastic. And then we're going to connect it up. So, and the ribbons. Gonna go inside here. And those we're gonna cut. So now it's red, um, but it's gonna be uh, green very soon. So we're flipping the switch here sometimes. Interesting. Um, connect this one up into there. To flip the switch more often. <laughs> Just gonna have a little bit of discotheque, that's all. Um, this is for bit one, and this one is for bit two. And that one, if they build it up, is gonna be for bit three. Um, here we go. And the last one, build it up. Thank you, and go like that. Uh, maybe a higher priority on these things because I want to see the flippage there. Um, can I have this maybe binary? Zero one? No. Ah, that's what the second one does. Ah, interesting. Oh, that's nice there. <laughs> that's very good. Nice. That's how it works. What if I do this? And it's going red. Ah, and now it's going green. <laughs> Interesting. So here we have our thing. Um, we're gonna do a waterfall though. We're gonna do a waterfall. Nice, nice water there. Um, let's do it like so. And the background of the waterfall is not gonna be the bleeding orange. It's gonna be the uh, the the bleeding black. Like maybe so. But I cannot discern the difference between between the one and the other. Mm, that doesn't look good. Let's have a nice green background there. Green for the waterfall. Like in the jungle. Like in the jungle or something. Um have a little jungle environment in the background. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? Good, we're gonna copy the settings. And now we have a little bit of jungle there. Oops. Good. Jungle waterfall. How about that? Um is there anything else? You could do with it. No. I think this looks great. Maybe slower? I don't think we can do it slower, to be honest. Because I don't know how to use this machine. <laughs> it's going just nicely. <laughs> um, yeah. It's fine. Good, let's see if the launch pad is done. No, still working here hard. Working hard and thorough. And um, yeah, it's gonna take a while. That means we can try and get things done here. And of course they messed up. I put in the priority, but they didn't care. They didn't care for the priority. 
Um, what else do I need to build here? Hmm, still waiting on the seats there. And um, I wonder if they mutate. They have a little bit of uh, of radiation for for the surroundings there. If we look at the radiation overlay. It's at uh, thirty four reds only though. Well, I have to build every farm in the game probably. Wait a minute. What I could do is. I get a wee sword inside here. Yes, to make the grub fruit mutate. So let's look at the plants that I have to mutate. Because I'm not sure I need to mutate every plant there is. Um, radical, red bolts, GMA, all plants, thimbleweed, mealwood, gas grass, dust cap, dash of salt vine. Water weed, pincher pepper plant, book bucket, balm lily, spindly grub fruit, sleet weed, and nosh sprout. So that means the spindly I have to do. Mm. And when it's getting rubbed, it's still spindly, isn't it? It's the seed is still the same. So I can do that. I can do the spindly, and I can do the uh, thimble weed. And that's what I have here. Or I could finally finish this up here and um, have them be here, the plants. That might be an idea. And then they can, can absorb a lot of radiation. Hmm, I wonder if this is a spot, if this spot here is enough. Yes, so let's finish this up. Um, clean out the area. Uh, that thing can pump. Pump, please. Do we have water here for these plants? This plant needs water. Body temperature? Wait a minute, is it too cold? It's probably too cold because I don't do water here. Yes. Um, if it's below 15, I want it cooler. Wait a minute. 15 to 20. If it's below 15, I want it cooler. If it's above 15, I want it cooler. Isn't that the case? No. If it's below 15, it's fine. Doors are open. Good. I just <laughs> took some of the cool energy and, and put it here. That's of course a mistake. That's my bad. Let's get hot water in there as quickly as possible to get it going nicely again. Um, but 15, come on. It's 15 to 20. Let's do 17.5 here. It's 18, all right. Um, so we're going to cool down to 18 once it gets hot. Let's do 17. I think that's the correct settings at, there. And um, then we're going to pour out everything here into wherever the brine and salt water and everything is going to get uh, converted into steam here. Good. So we have a lot of steam there. Uh, what is this? Dirt. Mm, somehow dirt got there. Probably got cooked. Something got cooked there. Don't know. Um, what about my rocket and things? Oh, we're cooling down just a little bit here now. Good. Uh, we're still doing research. But are we finished? Yes. Um... Almost finished with the red bulb propulsion as well. Oops, and that's where I can then find out where to put the new rocket platform. Can I build things up there? I'm missing a ladder. All right. This needs external power. Um, let's find out if we have a power cord running here somewhere. We do. 
Um, right, and it also needs some sort of automation. Um, we might connect it up to the engine directly. Yeah, that's a good call. But if it shoots through, uh, will it mess up things? Maybe. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, because somehow when I do this, there's always nuclear waste in the vicinity. I don't know why. Probably bounce against the wall or something. I don't know what's happening there exactly. Um, but that's alright. Let's get the automation in there. This is going to be different automation from the automation we did just now. Um, let's put it there. And then run it into the engine. Uh, how do we reach this? I don't think it's really reachable. Let's run it here through the wall and then find out where the engine is exactly. Okay, it's probably unreachable. Get some helper ladders. Right. Yeah, we cannot we can reach this from anywhere. Good, but now we can when the ladders are built up. So how's my vacuum project? Um, put in more tiles. Good. And then we almost have the vacuum done here. And we can do a little bit of a spill. Um, for all the hot petrol. And that's coming from here. Um, I don't know when it's going to come. Or how it's going to come. If it's going to come, I do not know. Because this is a pure vanity project. You should not heat up um, crude oil uh, with an within hydrogen vent. That's a horrible idea. You shouldn't do that. But we have 3.4 tons of hydrogen in here. And it's 440 degrees Celsius. Right. And um, we're putting glass in there intermittently. And that is also a problem. Glass production and delivery. Um, so where are, are, are my poke shells? Got some of them there. So we've got two of them inside of here now. Well, that means we have polluted mud in here. Oh my goodness. Do I still have the delivery of polluted mud there? Because polluted mud doesn't do anything for these guys. Um, let's see. It's getting delivered here. So it's coming from there. Mm. We're grabbing it from out of the kitchen, and it's it should be rot and should be polluted dirt. Uh, why is it not going? Uh, it's the wrong one, isn't it? Yes. Um, I can't find it. I cannot find it. Here it is. That's the spaghetti there. That's the horrible spaghetti. Terrible polluted polluted mud. No. No polluted mud. The polluted mud should go somewhere else. But I don't know where. Um probably here where the rest of the polluted mud is. Somewhere wait. I have no idea. Uh, and I have no use for polluted mud at all. I don't have a clue. Maybe you can bake it into dirt? Hmm, is that possible? Hmm, might be worth a try. Uh, this is 113 degrees. Hmm. Do we have a delivery system up? And uh, not really. Not really. Let's just put a little bit of polluted dirt there and see what happens to it. Um, what about this lead suit there? Can I put it somewhere? It's kind of in the way. I wonder if I can have a clothing locker here on top. Let's try that. Clothing locker is also a very great mod. It's just a bin for clothing. That's all it is. It's pretty cool. 
clothing locker. Here we are. I'm going to make it from any material there. I can't decide. Copper is probably in the vicinity. And is this reachable? Should be. Yes. Good. It's there on top. I'll grab some stuff. Um, anyway, we're going to have the hauling mod. Uh, do its magic again. And we're going to put in here five key of polluted mud and see what happens. Well, it's probably going to gas off is what's going to happen. Hmm, so is that even a good idea? No, it's not. Let's remove it and put it somewhere where it's safe. Where it can gas off. Oh, carbon dioxide temperature here is horribly low. <gasps> is something broken? Something broken or did we just do too much there? And this is overheating, but carbon dioxide temperature is low. What is happening? Huh? Let's deconstruct the pitcher pump. It needs to be from ceramic. Um, wait, it's here that the temperature is low. Um, the crude oil there is at 80 degrees. Do we have temperature exchange happening? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Can we pump here, please? Wait, how much is this? Uh, crude oil 9 key. <laughs> this thing was idle. And that was enough for the room to cool down like no tomorrow. Well, that's unfortunate. We still have a little bit of production going here. Uh, let's take out the gunk. Petrol. Oh, petrol is here. How much is it? <gasps> there is my petrol oil. Let's empty it out. Hmm. I never swept this up. Or did I? I wondered where it went and I thought it was deleted. But it's right here. So thank goodness. And um can sweep out all the hot gunk here to clean up the area. It's also clay and stuff. This needs to be heated up. Just waiting for the hot oil to come in. But it's not coming. Well, it's going to heat up. Um the leaky oil fissure here is uh not working that hard. Uh, maybe we can find another one. I don't know. Um, but for now, why is this hauling point here? For now, we don't need to change up anything. If these critters are becoming the wrong type of critter, which is very likely, a larvae egg is 31% chance that they lay that. Then we're just going to move it over to here, where it already happened. And uh, there they can produce some oil. Not that we need it. We would need hot oil instead. Um, right now, the hot water um, would even do a good job here in heating up the area. Terrible. Good. Let's see if the Bristle Blossom Farm is going. Um, the mutated one is not going. But are we not done with this here? Let's do this 100% of the time. I want to be done. Green duration full. And this is always going to send a green signal now. Um, because we're going to cut that wire. Very nice. So we have a permanent run of all these uh, things there. And... Um, kind of want to... And dig those and deconstruct that. Uh, that way we might have a flow. But it is brine and salt water mixed. I don't think this is going to flow anywhere. I think we just have to mop it up. So let's start on that project already. Um, I can deconstruct these things here. I bet you I just deleted some stuff there. That's what it did. There's petrol 100G brine. Yes, so you can set this as well. So we can reach everything or dig it out rather. 
Fantastic. And then we're going to mop up the rest. Let's mop it up. Good. Um, meanwhile, the waterfall is there. Nice. Good. Let's look at our launch pad. Still not done. Ha, huh, but the rocket is done. Let's put it in. Um, can we, though? You have to build a rocket platform, that's for sure. And then the rocket on top. Make sure it's uh, placed correctly. Right next to the ladder. Uh, will this work? Who knows? I'm going to put it in. And then... Oh, I have to wait until they build it. That's shame. And then we're going to put the uranium engine there. So can we do more research? I kind of want to build this uh, monument there. Just for fun. And uh, I think this is also needed to win the game. Um, deliver some brine there. Oh, the brine is getting poured out here that we have too much. Uh, we could leave this in place, actually. Mm. Sure, why not? Let's build a helper letter here. Have this very high priority because uh, I think they're going the wrong way all the time. But maybe they're not. And. Oh! <laughs> I have a terrible bottle empty there. Um, polluted water, water, salt water, and brine. But it was there to uh, focus on the water first. And on the brine and salt later. And that's what we're doing now. Good. This is a lot of water. This is too much water. And it's getting deleted. And it's nice water. Because the filter is broken. Mm. <laughs> filter is broken. Is it broken really? Or is it just not working? It's just not working. <laughs> Which is another word for broken. But, uh, there is a differentiation there. We're going to block the pipe. Um, because I want the water to be used up first. I don't want to waste too much of the water. It's going to end up here producing steam. So we're good. Rocket platform. Fantastic. Uh, new rocket. Red bolt. Build. And now we're going to do the red overlay. Ah, so that's where it's going to go. So we need to go one tile. One, two, three, four. Two tiles deeper. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So we're going to build another platform here. And now let's be very careful. Because I don't want to build these uh, on top of each other. I think they might break. I think they might break the game, actually. If you do that, there's a good chance to break the game. If you uh, stack them up. That's not a good idea. No, I'm not going to do that. Rocket platform. Somebody's doing it. What about the uh, thing here? It's looking better and better. It's looking better and better. Uh, can we focus on this part here, please? I want that finished up so I can close it off. Mm, the ladder. We can deconstruct. And then take the gunk away. Because I don't know where it's going to teleport from here. Uh, actually, no. It's going to be fine. So what are you doing inside there? Are you breathing here? Getting irradiated. That's not good. Uh, let's have this to crew only. Let's have this to crew only. And nobody comes in here any longer. Not even to breathe. It's not a good idea. It's not safe in here. 25 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees Celsius, 26 degrees. What about, what about here? It's still 30 degrees. Yeah, let's let the wheeze board work. And when the wheeze board works, the wheeze board works is in the works. Of wording out the wheeze board, wordy bird. <laughs> no, that's not that's not a thing. Um. Almost Emily is scalded beyond recognition. Let's put her in a bed. 
I don't know how this always keeps happening. Um, but we can now delete this oxygen there and keep working on our spill. Radiant liquid pipe from gold? No. From gold? Everything here is now from gold, so whatever. Let's make it from gold. Aluminum is better, but not really needed. We have a very long spillway. It's gonna be a long time to uh, exchange heat there. So hopefully when these, how much warmth would a wheeze ward wheeze if a wheeze ward could wheeze warmth? <laughs> That's a good one, Sutsi. That's a real one. Mine one was a little bit shabby. <laughs> That's a real good one. So we're gonna deconstruct, uh, destroy, delete the oxygen here. We're gonna waste more oxygen. We have too much of this stuff. Let's get rid of it. I really want to open the door forever. That's gonna bum out everybody. Let's open up this door for a while again. Oh, it's down to two tons as well. Let's have it down to 16 tons. And uh, then look at the pressure. Right. Open base. Project open base. An open base is better than an electrolyzer setup that is vertical. And um, but then we're gonna run the pumps like crazy. Um, maybe we're gonna have the electrolyzer setup here go all the way up. And then the utmost segment, the utmost module, will have an open door. That could be good idea um, on the other hand vertical setup is not really working here is it um, because this is way too big this is way too big what I could do is have it uh, be one and a half stories high don't like that much mm -hmm. But I think that's what I might have to do. Um, hydrogen generator, battery, power transformer. That's all that I need inside of there. Hmm. I don't know if I can fit it in. Cannot fit it on top somehow. Yeah, like I said, I have to go back to the sandbox and find a good way for vertical setup. Because this is terrible. This is the, why is this so big? This is bigger than the one that I have here and it's a horizontal setup. No, actually it's not. Because I have those things on top and I have to count in these tiles there. All right, let's see what's at this. Because I want my, uh, <laughs> I want my research. I'm gonna be done with my research uh, renovation at the same time when my research is done. And I'm talking about all my research. That's probably how it's gonna go. Um, but let's not fret. Uh, this reflector, I'm gonna move definitely. Gonna move it over one tile. Oh, we cannot. We're gonna have it vertical and shoot. Um, shoot from here. Is that possible? Yes. Good, let's get it going. This is from Mavic Rock. Let's do something we have a lot of. We don't need for anything else. Um, put it here. That's right. And put the other one vertical like I said and then oh, this will even work nice so that's a good setup <laughs> for a very small laboratory a very small laboratory indeed um, but I think you have to count in that there is a nuclear waste here and that's wasting a lot of space no pun intended so where is 
my water now? Can I have more water? No. Maybe. Let's connect it up. See where it flows. Water is flowing out, of course. And the brine is flowing somewhere else. This is a lot of water now. And I think we might have to stop again. Pipe will, will fill up. Like no tomorrow. On the other hand, there's also brine there. 2.4 tons of the stuff. Nah. We have to do the automation again. Because this is too much. Let's connect it up. And red it out. Red duration. Let's do anything here. Good. Still flowing though. Um, this might overflow. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages of ten key, and we barely have room. Is it overflowing? Yes. No. Not yet. Good. Uh, so we're gonna leave that water to be consumed. And what about the temperature? Still the wrong temperature. Yeah, because the water we're using right now is pretty cool. So it doesn't do anything. The super duper super specialized mutant plant is not giving us anything. It's not yielding anything. It's not growing. So we're losing two. We're losing out on two, but I think the stuff is gonna rot anyhow. Um, can we put it inside here before we use it? Bristle Blossom. Bristle Berry. Errands. Now we're grabbing the stuff. I wonder where it was before. Oh, it's just lying here somewhere. Um, yeah. All Bristle Berry that we're harvesting is probably rotting. Rotting away. We're not doing anything. We're not doing the Bristle Berry. Mm, don't have that. Do have a lot of berry sludge. Um, wait a minute. Are we wasting s material? Yeah, I don't think so. We just have to let this grow again. Um, ah, I think I know what's the problem. They're getting ripped out every time they're done with their harvest. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna have it figured out soon enough. The electrolyzer, no, I'm not looking at that any longer. Could put some hydrogen in here to the anti anti entropy. Well, let's start a dig, a dig project here to dig out the stuff. Um. Cancel maybe here though. Because I probably need those tiles to dig out the ice over there. Good. Let's dig out the AETN and feed it with uh, hydrogen and see what it does. Good. Do we have hydrogen here? No. Our electrolyzers are busted. Yeah, this is definitely the project for next time. Um, for today. Just gonna mess around with the rockets. Good. Um, rocket platform we need again. And of course, I remember where the spot is. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Where the pumps are. And um, then we can build a red bolt engine for the very first time. And that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, filling it up. Oh, I did not check where the automation input or output is hmm well that's fine gonna find out when it's being built hmm is there more automation that we unlocked is there more auto more automation that is actually useful that we unlocked i don't think so you only got this the signal shenanigans for the discotheque waterfall Disco waterfall here. Hmm. 
take the oxygen. What is the pressure? It's below 5 key. That's good to see. Um, pump is pumping. This pump is blocked. Yeah, we have too much oxygen now. It's a good problem again. Um, we're going to relocate these pumps. There's no maintenance happening from down here. Or is there? Hmm. I wonder. I think there might be. There's a little bit of polluted oxygen stuck here. Uh, which can become a problem. But shouldn't. How about a middle ladder? Uh, no, it's not possible either. Uh, how about stick the pump here? Hmm. Stick it down there and then, oh man. There's no room. Can stick it under here. Um, but we need two. Can we get two? In here somehow. Hmm. I don't want to put them like that. But I can. Alright, let's do it. Let's have some, some steel because we seem to have a lot of the stuff. No, let's not waste the steel. Let's do blue ones. Because we have a cobalt ore and we don't know what to do with it. Good, then I'm gonna connect it up. Should we not run this to the floor? Because it's, it's completely in the way. Let's run it to the floor. This is all vanity projects. No need to do any of this. Um, and the sensor. Stick it in the middle. Automation. Like so. Good, so do we finally, oops, do we finally have our shaft done? No. But I still kind of want to leave here. We helped out enough. And we can free the AETN. Let's do that. Deconstruct, dig, stick it out. And it's going to be free. Free as the proverbial bird. And here we can close this up. Good. Yeah. Right, what about the uranium engine? New rocket? Red Bolt engine built. Needs to be built from steel. It's pretty big. It is pretty big. And uh, the fuse is going to shoot in. And the automation is gonna provide perfect. Provide the signal necessary. Good. So are we building a second rocket or are we just figuring this out? Good question. Let's do a second rocket. Let's do a second rocket there. With another drill. Gonna send it to space. Duplicate inside. Um, space fair module comes then on top. Um, where is it? Uh, must be here. Good from steel, build up. Looking good. Can I reach it? Not sure. Let's put the ladder in there. Can I have another ladder? No. Right, and then we have this gas pipe for the one rocket and this other gas pipe for the other rocket. Uh, we have a gas Audi here. That's not good. Mm. Let's put it in like so and bridge it over as well. Gas pi pipe full of steam. What am I doing? What am I doing? So now I'm going to deconstruct this. Deconstruct and build a bridge. 
just to signify that there's an Audi. Um, gas bridge. From Igneous Rock. That's fine. Good. So, how are we going to get the oxygen in? From here. Oxygen should be at a good temperature. Nope. It's 88 degrees. That means... I can never do this. Hmm. Or I should never do this. I also don't want a bridge, to be honest. Um, let's deconstruct everything here. And build it around instead. Good. It's normal steam temperature. That's fine. Uh, we're going to grab it. And pump it in like so. Uh, meanwhile, the oxygen really needs to have a, have a low temperature, because 88 here is really bad. Um, how do we fix this? Has a good temperature here, has a bad temperature there. This is insulated pipe from granite, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, we're going to empty out the pipe. That's what we're going to do. Here. And then uh, we have to have a shutoff or something. Um, we have to provide the oxygen from this side. And then any oxygen coming in from that side must be beyond a shutoff. So I can, uh, I can manu manually determine when the oxygen is going to flow. Good. So we're coming around here and going in, th in there. Like so. And then later we're going to cut this. That means we're not going to provide oxygen to that. Until all, all the oxygen is used up. Good. But still, oh, we need to build up the pipes. And we're going to build them from ceramic. Not to lose any of the energy there. Good. There is oxygen content. So I cannot build this over, and I do have to flip the bridge, unfortunately. Hey, Fractal Nebula, good to see you. So we're going to uh, flip this bridge, get rid of the oxygen there. Um, I'm building my second rocket. Interesting. <laughs> it's not It's not that interesting. I'm just going to get the Red Bolt engine and, uh, and fill it up with Red Bolts. That's all I'm going to do. And today uh, we have a very slow episode. It's just maintaining and um, try to figure out the electrolyzer. But I'm going to do that in sandbox. I'm thinking how to get infant clay. <laughs> nah, so you're not still in the bedrooms, are you? <laughs> Is it, I think it's because of the background tiles. <laughs> um. Here though, infinite clay is right there. We got the hot polluted oxygen vent, and uh, we got a little bit of nafta there on top of the mesh tile, or inside the mesh tile rather, on top of the airflow tile, and then we got the deodorizers on top. There is your clay machine, and for the sand, what you do is either you harvest meteorites. You don't have a vent. Oh dear. Um, do you, but everybody, hey, everybody has a polluted water vent. Everybody. So, uh, just use this and same thing. Um, if you don't have me your showers, then you have to have sand. And sand comes from the toilet. So you have a water sieve here that produces polluted dirt. And one poke shell there that, um, keep it at one. Four million <laughs> Four million. Um, yeah, I have a lot. That's right. But uh, um, oh my jeez, what the heck, Sutsi? I'm just looking at your screenshot there. Oh dear. Um, did you post it on the Discord? Cause that's a lot of work there. That will take forever. Better go on high speed. 
So what she has there, I'm, I'm not going to show it off because uh, I don't have that set up. But it's one, two, three, four, five floors of uh, maybe a double size rooms. Twice 64 times rooms. Terrible. So see, you are terrible. What are you doing there? The, what do you use for a power spine? As Fraction Never not asking. I'm using a uh, one kilowatt wire there. Oops, what is that? That's a bridge. It's ugly. Let's over overpower it with a regular wire. So this is my power spine. It runs from the top to the bottom of the base. And then it goes left and right to the distributors. <laughs> nice inspection. And um, yeah, that's it. That's my power spine. Just a little wire. And if you look at it, no generators and no consumers. That's my power spine. What I'm using instead is uh, distributors. Battery module things are built like follows. Um, that's not one. That's not one. Let's just grab any one. What about this one here? Um, the important thing here is the automation, I think. So you have one of the batteries determining if uh, power comes in or not. Uh, and that's why, the, why you got the OR gate and the NOT gate. Um, the left battery in this case is telling uh, two shutoffs, the middle ones, to be closed now because they need uh, they need power apparently. So that means one powery gets the power, uh, one better powery. <laughs> four wide, three tall, but it don't work. Four wide, three tall. Wait, four wide, three tall. This thing, the distributor. Well, I cannot explain it to be honest. I cannot explain it. I'm just uh, looking at one battery and saying, ah, oh, this battery needs power. And then I look at the power and say, oh, the power comes in from the bottom. <laughs> and um, the power goes out from the top. So I'm just using a NOT gate and an OR gate for the different shutoffs. And um, the shutoff that's taken in power here is, of course, connected to the OR gate. And the shutoff that's not letting anything out is, yeah, two battery module. <laughs> so it's, it's all of the batteries. New bedrooms have to be here. The uh, the battery module is is two batteries. Yes. Well, how come you want to make it four wide and three tall? Um, it has to be four, six, seven tiles wide and two tiles tall. Mm, but honestly, I think you could get away with putting this shutoff on the other side there. And then you have a six, six wide and this is the closest you can get. And that would also make sense because the OR gate here is connected to the outer shutoffs. And if you make the outer shutoffs uh, be on one side, then you don't have to run the run the wire like crazy here. Um, you don't use a module for every two kilowatts you have. Um, do I though? Sometimes, sometimes it's more than two kilowatts. I use a module for four kilowatts as well. Wait, here. So how much? Is, oh, it's not. It's not exactly four. <laughs> Sorry, it's not four kilowatts. It's um. If we look at the heavy board conductive wire, it's two point eight kilowatts only. But I could have more machines in here. But yeah, I'm using one module because it doesn't matter. If you have the energy, then look. This is how much energy is being used right now. Nothing. So it's a bad example. Um. This is running for power. Do I have anything that is running? I don't think I have much consumption. Maybe here. What about this thing? Sorry, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have the. Uh, um, Discord link is in the about. So sorry, I don't have exclamation mark thingies there. Um, Maybe there is a very good tutorial on this by Advanced Tony, but
but I have to update it because that guy is, uh, is not doing anything anymore and they're also not using the OR gate like I do it. They're doing two gates. They're doing two NOT gates and two OR gates, which is a waste. Um, you, you can get away with just one of each. And I'm gonna have the uh, I'm gonna have the the little one, not the big one here. Um, I I just do this because they are close together there. I have a Discord, yeah. It's from it's from my dungeon action game. <laughs> but there's also a Twitch tab, a Twitch channel, and there you can uh, there you can do anything you want with all the games that I stream on Twitch. I currently just stream uh, Oxygen included in some dungeon action and some darkest dungeon. But uh, come next week or the week after, probably the 20, 22nd, I'm going to start streaming some Hitman. So <laughs> that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited about that. I'm going to stream that in the evening. And uh, I played some Hitman uh, this morning. That's why I'm so, so tired now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting. And then, uh, but the but the march is gonna be maybe a little bit slower. I don't know what the dog is gonna say, cause um, gonna have some more breaks probably during the streams. But yeah, that's all for the future for now. Um, the battery setup. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But the idea is that one battery charges while the other other battery is responsible for a section of your base. So if you have the power overlay here, you're going to see very clearly that this is the botany section of my base. This is very obvious. We have the botanical analyzer and we have two farms and they all need power. So this distributor here is just responsible for that and nothing else. Power comes in here from this wire, no generators and no consumers. Just batteries. If you look at the batteries, there's a lot of batteries there. And uh, this battery now is taking up energy. So um, it's responsible for taking up energy. The farm is taking up the energy and that's why the battery is draining. So battery is draining now. And um, as soon as it's done with its drainage, you have a high threshold and a low threshold. Um, it's going to tell with the automation these shutoffs to go or not go. And all you need is an OR gate and a NOT gate. And the reason you need the OR gate is because the NOT gate introduces an oscillatory, oscillatory, <laughs> I don't know if that's the word, but it's an oscillator tick like you have here. That's what it does. Um, it ticks here. And that's what the counter does. It uh, it counts all the ticks of the oscillator here, of the oscillating thing. Why the OR gate? Also, generators don't put load on wire. Yeah, they don't put load on wire, but... Uh, hmm. Um, the, the reasoning I have here is... I don't know what the... Uh, which generator gets drained out first. And I don't want to give priority to a generator here. So if I had a wheel here, I don't know what, what would happen even. If the if the energy from the wheel is even going in or or not. But like this, I know that uh, that all the generators are contributing to the gen to the system, um, even though they're not on the way. Yeah, that's what I said like uh, three or five episodes ago, or 20. I was uh, putting generators here and uh, putting everything everywhere and saying, oh, you can do whatever you want with the system. Um, but it didn't didn't run stable. You could have batteries here and you could have generators there, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> it just turns on every generator. Well, I don't know. I have this without generator. Do do your generators on the, on the little wire then. Um, I, I think the generator you're going to put on here is going to be limited to one kilowatt. That's what I'm thinking. And that's why, why I'm not doing it. Um, I'm not even doing it for a wheel that is less than a kilowatt. But if you have a, if you have a big setup like this, 
how we have over a thousand kilowatts and um, you could put it directly on a small wire but I don't think it would uh, it would even work I don't think it would go or gate but I might need to update well if you uh, are you using the not gate because that is definitely needed um, if you don't use the or gate there is a chance this will break and that's not a good thing because you have a lot of machines on one end and you don't want wires to overload um, the, like I said the oscillator here is with the NOT gate just explains why there's a little bit of delay the OR gate introduces a little bit of a delay and that's why this is such a good counter here it's always counting it's always counting no matter what and it's always counting at the same speed because the OR gate introduces this delay just like this NOT gate here does and if you want everything at the same speed you're gonna have an OR gate and a NOT gate both so what I'm going to do in the future is put this power shot off on the other side and then I'm going to I'm probably maybe do a tutorial on this. This might be nice um, because the tutorial is, is, has not been updated. It doesn't need an update. It works just fine like uh, Tony Advance has it going on their YouTube there. But um, they're using a lot of materials and maybe having another one. It's not a bad idea. Can you show the automation? Yes, of course. Here it is. And the idea is two shutoffs are connected to the NOT gate and two shutoffs are connected to the OR gate. That's all that is needed. And um, I don't know, Tony said there might be another way to delay the signal, um, but the OR gate is what you can do. You can, you can do an end gate by just connecting up both inputs, input A and input B of the end gate. Um, but that's just the same then. And then. If you look at the end gate, there is nothing one. It is the same apparatus, only for different logic. Um, also, how do you split the generators? Split the generators. Uh, you split the generators off from the power spine by having transformers in between them. So what I have here is a 4 kilowatt transformer and then the little wire just goes out. That's all you gotta do. Um, I had batteries in here, but that's not even needed. Um, but everything here needs to be on one side of the transformer. Havoc, good to see you. Every gate acts like a 0.1 second delay. <laughs> yes, Fracture Never, do some lurking. Um, but this is the automation again. Just have the NOT gate connected up to two, and then the OR gate connected up to the other two. Um, just make sure that the power then is split between the two. Uh, you're gonna have two shutoffs for input and two shutoffs for output. And now, the more that I keep looking at it, the more I realize I don't need to have this like that. Um, I can have the power shutoffs right next to each other because if the power comes in from the top, then I'm using the top shutoffs for input and doing the lower shutoffs for output and vice versa. Yeah, that's what I do. Yes, Structure Nebula. This is indeed the best system. But Havoc asked, are you going to use the magic of this uh, one kilowatt wire transporting like 400,000 kilowatts of power? Are you going to use the magic forever? Yes. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Just because you can, they ask. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna do it just because I can. No, I'm, I'm using this because it's the best way to do it. And because uh, to honor Advanced Tony, because I love that guy. <laughs> They're my idol. They did everything uh, that I that I like as well. 
Now they did everything right, is my opinion. Um, because you all know, this is a single player game. And there's only one right way to play a single player game. And there's a lot of wrong ways. And they're doing the right way. So that's why I'm copying on them. Copying them. That's what I'm doing. And here we got the... Uh, uh, I'm going to show off all them builds from them now. Oh yeah, Faction Nebula. This is... Uh, <laughs> This is what you said, uh, I think, w was it you so, or somebody else? But we had this, we had this before. It's definitely better to use a two kilowatt wire. Absolutely. Um, but I like to distinguish between the little wire and the big one. Um, because the big ones I use mostly for all the power needs that I have. And the little one is what I'm losing, uh, what, I'm, what I'm using exclusively for the power spy. So that's that then. Yeah, I think this this is the best way to distribute power. Um, I'm not using this just because I can, just to show off. I'm using it because I like, I like how it works, and I like the convenience of it as well. And as soon as you have the, the two batteries and the four shutoffs. Um, that's all that you need. So I'm gonna show off all the the builds from Tony now, and I think then I'm gonna be done for today. Uh, I shouldn't have played Hitman. I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I apologize. This morning I played Hitman, and I have no energy to stream this <laughs> this early day, this new time. Um, but let's show off the builds now. So what they did was an aluminum tamer that looks like follows. You're gonna get all the hot aluminum out of the steam room. And the steam room is of course cooled down by the steam turbine. Now, the water that cools down the steam room is flowing like follows. It goes through a little bit of a contraption there. That's just a pre-cooler. <laughs> Uh, have access. This beta planet is looking like a palace now. Um, wait, is it yours or is it mine? A dome on top? Is it yours or mine? What dome? What are you talking about? Hmm. But I think I'm going to make this one pretty. Prettier than the other one. Because look at this there. They're almost done. They're almost done. Fantastic. I wonder where the gunk went there. Yours? Wait a minute. I'm gonna make it a palace, definitely. Um, the dome is that one here. Right. Yeah, we're gonna make everything pretty. That's definitely one of the ambitions that I have for this game when I play it. Um, I couldn't play the unmodded version of the game. It's a bit horrible to look at uh, if you have all the standard tiles and everything. But to be fair, you can make it somewhat pretty, um, even with the default version of the game. Um, all these tiles there from sandstone and stuff, I think you can replace them with metal tiles. And that's what you should do, depending on the metal volcano. So if you have a an aluminum volcano, uh, you're gonna not get too much out of it, but you're gonna have way more out of that than uh, the regular tiles. Um, what is the what is the uh, d decor there? Plus fifteen. So you're gonna replace everything with that then. So you can make it pretty. I just don't see anybody making it pretty. Sutsi is making it pretty. The new supply stuff is fun, says Sutsi. Wait. Bedroom, bedroom, background. I'm going back to your to your Discord picture there. Um, new supply stuff. I don't know. I don't think I have that yet. I'm not playing the latest version. I just need to finish my achievement run. That's why. Um, so back to introducing Tony Advance to you guys. I don't know if you even know them, but uh, if you are on the YouTube's, then check them out. They're, they're not active anymore, but all those tutorials that they have are brilliant. They're just brilliant. So uh, we have the aluminum tamer there, and the little contraption up there is a pre-cooler for the gunk. So 
we're gonna take any gunk from here which is now very clean so there's no gunk at all it's just metal so we're going to take the metal and or the gunk if you're just uh, building this and we're going to run it through the thing and it's going to get pre-cooled here by this little cons contraption there liquid valve inside the vacuum and it's just going to have the output of this water there and then it cannot flash into steam even if there is hot metal in here and that's going to pre-cool the stuff and then um, the hot steam is here and it's not so hot because the steam turbine is going to run all the time just going to make sure that there's enough water in here it's 100 key per tile and uh, then we have a little bit of a conveyor shut off somewhere um, they have they Tony advanced had it a little bit different but um, this is just minor details that it changed up so it's their build, definitely. Um, we're gonna get it, get the stuff out half of the time, or one time, or a third of the time. I'm gonna have a little bit of time for the uh, hot liquid. Um, what's it? What is it? Aluminum to um, to cool down, but it's not liquid, isn't it? Solid, yes. So uh, that's that build. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit clear what is happening here. I mean, if you play the game and you see this picture there, and then you see the uh, water overlay, it's pretty straightforward. We're just cooling here with polluted water, and an aqua tuna, the steam, and then the metal goes out in solid form, and gets shipped out every uh, third of a second. Every third of a second maybe one third this is or one in three i don't know what it is i'm very, very bad at math uh you know that you guys everybody lurking here and viewing it on youtube's already knows how bad i am at math so the next build then um this volcano tamer um so what this does is a huge heat sink and if you have a real volcano and not this uh shabby little minor volcano volcano that never runs then of course you have a, you have a problem with a lot of hot lava and you can have a, a very hot steam heat sink here and the way that works is normally you close this off and you have a little bit of uh, lead molten lead here on the bottom and then all the hot rock will have an easier time um, getting the heat out of it Havoc says a friend of mine who works on nuclear power plants told me that they can use water and keep it water until about 300 degrees Celsius in their cooling loops. So props to Clay for allowing, uh, allowing these things. Alone? Alone. Wait a minute. You can use water and keep it water until uh, in their cooling loops. This is crazy. So this is real science there. Havoc. It's real science. So um, that's, not a, that's not a big deal there. So if I would make a nuclear power plant, I would just have the pipe deliver only one kilos of water. <laughs> Enough pressure to keep it liquid. <laughs> so I just I would just um, have one kilo of water in the pipes. So no big deal. Then it will never flash to steam. Uh, if I w if I were running a, a nuclear power plant. <laughs> so what I was watching uh, one time was this. Um, power plant documentary and it was about the accidents and everything and how they came to be and it was a horror show so I'm never gonna do that again <laughs> same goes for freezing mm hmm yes yeah, so we're gonna do the one kilos every time but um, back to this build and all this does is a huge heat sink and if you have a real volcano you can have the heat here up very high so that you can uh, so that you can just pump in all the liquid that you want um, because you have the liquid down there and that's just a, just a tip from the comments here on YouTube um, the main thing about this build is just just having the liquid lead there to suck out all the heat <laughs> Um, good. So this is this is that build from uh, 
from Tony Advanced. And then I have a third build, a third one, uh, copied off, off of them. Uh, but I don't know if I can find it. Hey, we're done here. Um, so what was that? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's of course the power distribution. And that's the power distribution and we went through that uh, through length. All right, um, where do we have it here? Yes, this is the power distribution there. I wonder if I should do it differently now that I know that I can. Sure, why not? Hmm. Um, is this working? Can I do this? And should I not have both of them on the left side instead? Alright. I should. Mm. But then I cannot know. I cannot, I cannot identify what is happening here. I cannot identify what it, Left and left? Yes. I'm going to renovate here a little bit. I'm just going to renovate. I'm going to... Uh, put that there. Yeah, like I said, you guys, I, I watched some of the documentaries of the um, nuclear power plants and uh, the, the stuff that's going wrong there. Um, no, I'm not going to do that again. It's, it's not for me. <laughs> I don't want to watch that stuff. So here we go with the with the wiring. Um, the new wiring, I should say. And what about the automation? Um, oh, we should have a left one control everything, and not the right one. Should we not? And then we have a not gate there. Um, but that is all for next time. I'm, I'm not going to uh, to renovate this now. Next time I'm going to really show some love to this planetoid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Sootsie. So sorry to hear. So sorry to hear. But that is actually uh, not as bad as, uh, as mass thingies. I know JFK was a good guy and everything, but it's just one person. I think it's worse if you if you ruin the lives of <laughs> of a whole region, and um, poor guy. I mean, you could argue that the that the guy would have made the lives better of millions of people, but uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, bad is bad. Doesn't matter. Some say six hundred, some say six million. <laughs> I don't know if you get that reference, but. Uh, there's some Holocaust deniers there. Um, they say uh, that it's very bad to say that it was six million if you don't know the right number. <laughs> so, so they think it's like six hundred or so, not six million. But um, yeah, it's horrible stuff. I don't want to watch documentaries about uh, anti-Semitism. I don't want to watch documentaries about assassinations or nuclear disasters or. No, I'm I'm even uh, a little bit. How do you say? I'm I'm touchy. I'm very touchy when it comes to stuff like that. I don't even want to watch nature documentaries. They really bum me out. There's a there's a gazelle. It's running away. It's running around, and then there comes a big bad tiger. And they're gonna thank you, Sutsi, for being with me on that. Um, but it's horrible. It comes a big bad, big cat dog. <laughs> I don't I don't even watch that. Actually, sometimes, sometimes I do, but uh, I don't like the part where they where they rip each other apart. But the documentaries, um, they know that. The documentary makers, they know that. Oh dear, I have a lip here. It's two tiles out, and here it's only one tile out. Oh man, we cannot have that. We cannot have that. Let's put this in quickly before I end the stream. Um, priority nine. Good, and then hopefully they're gonna build that up, and then I can deconstruct this, and then we have a nice symmetric thing going on here. And um, let's get the radiation. We're very safe here. How come this is still radiation? 
Should not the window tile block the stuff? 64% radiation blocking. And here's 64. 64 plus 64 in my book, my math, that is 128%. And that's more than everything in my book. I don't know how other math books roll, but my math book says we should be safe here, and yet we're not. What the heck? Uh, maybe it's coming from the middle. Yeah, it's coming from the middle and then going out there. At 64% of 30... Th oh, yeah, look. Are, are you trolling me? <laughs> are you trying to make me, uh, make me look dumb? Dumber than I'm even am? Oh, man. I don't know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a liquid lock here and there and then I'm gonna be finished for today. Um, I should lean back because I'm really not sitting right here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks for chiming in. Oh, have a you are you are indeed indeed a smarter man than I am. Yes, yes. Sutsi already, everybody here, everybody in chat is smarter than I am. It's sad, but it's also happy times. Because now I know what is going on. Before I would just say, oh, this is not working. But it is. So let's copy the settings here. Um, oh man. Nah, I gotta, I gotta wrap it up. Um, I'm too slow even to get a liquid lock going now. <laughs> Oh, and they go up. They go up there. No, Havoc, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, I'm done for today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for chiming in. And I'm going to see you next time. Have a good day and a good night.